Hi, this is part two of my video from this thing called life. What amazes me is when I'm doing a reading, this is from part one now, when I'm doing a reading and someone says to me, this shit just pisses me the fuck off. I know that already. Well, bitch, what the fuck you coming to me for if you know that already? I mean that pisses me up to the pisses me off to the utmost. You gotta understand something. I don't fucking know it. And if people just look at you like, okay, I know that already. Okay, bitch, we know you know that already. But, but there's a big but. B U T exclamation point. What you don't realize is. We don't know it until we're given the information. When people tell me that, I just want to take, you know, this one uh, comedian said, you know, every person needs a hand on a stick. So when a motherfucker acts ignorant, you just pull that hand out and slap the shit out of him with it. You know, that is just so disturbing to me. You know, I can't stand that shit. Don't, don't say that to me. I know that already. Well, bitch, I don't know it. You know, you just want to just go off on their ass, okay? Um, I'm like, oh, dear God, give me the strength to even get through this freaking reading, okay? You know, there are certain things that you guys say to us that are just off the wall. So I will leave that shit right there as it is. Now, people that we're going to, we're going to go to people that drain your energy. They're called vampires. Please do not be a vampire to me. Do not drain my fucking ener energy for receive for some retarded bullshit, okay? People will just latch on to you and just drain your energy. Have you noticed a person can walk into the room and you're like, oh my God, all my energy is drained. Bitch, get out. You know, or somebody calls you, your energy is drained. I'm like, I gotta go. You know, it, it's amazing how people can draw your, you know, draw your energy. And then you get in a relationship with somebody. Oh my God. Oh my God, here they are with the needy bullshit. I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you. You know, I can't stand that shit either. The older I get, I'm 58, the older I get, that shit gets on my nerves. Let me need you for once, okay? Can you let, can you do that? Can you let me need you for once? That shit drives me up a wall. You know, and then when you read somebody, they're looking at you like, is that all you got? Yeah, bitch, that's all I got because that's all I was told. You know, and I will not read nobody. I had a girl that came to me one time. This was in about 2013, 2014. And I did a psychic party way out in the damn boondock somewhere. Oh, my God, it took me two hours to get there. You want to talk about worn out? I didn't even know, fuck, I was going that far. But anyway, I got there and she wanted a reading. And she started talking. I said, wait a minute. I can't read you. I don't want your bunny. I said, honey, you, not to be rude, but you need to see a psychiatrist. You're on the board of suicidal and you have a mental problem and I'm not making fun of you. I want you to go see a psychiatrist. I'm not going to read somebody that's on the breakthrough, breakdown of a suicidal attempt or they're in a full-blown depression that needs a, a meds. You know, uh, we get those people sometime and I will not read you. Nope. Cause you need help. You need professional help. And that's not to, to upset you in any kind of way. It's really not. Um, I come across a lot of weird people. I had one guy that called me, this was so many years ago and asked me some stupid shit. Um, would I suck his toes? Uh, excuse me, motherfucker. Who did, what did you just say? I'm not a psychic that goes around sucking people's toes. Now that's some crazy shit right there. Um, I wouldn't even take his money. I said, well, then on the other hand, maybe I should be, maybe I should go on the line like they do and do these sex calls, you know, and just talk uh, pornographic on the shit and just make my money. I can do that too. I was actually going to get an 800 number one time and do that. It talks sex over the phone. Oh my God. 
I could write for porno and I could do that on the phone. I said, maybe that's my next fucking attempt, you know, with all these weird ass men calling me and asking me to do shit. It's just crazy, you know. Um, but I just say, you know, this thing called life is a funny thing. It really is. It's a funny thing. And there's certain things that you wrote in your chart before you got over here, you know, that you have to go through. You don't want to go through, but your ass wrote it in your chart. You thought you could take it on. That's why a lot of people say, oh, my God, I'm going to school. I'm going to college. I'm working three jobs. Well, you wrote it in your chart before you got here. And, you know, counsel always asks you before you come over here, are you sure this is what you're going to do? you sure you could do this? Oh, yeah, I could take on the world. Then when your ass gets here, you're over swamped with the world and you don't even know what the fuck you're doing. You know, it's it's you can't take on a whole life a lot in your life. I can understand you working, and I got a lot of girls that work with me that are going to become nurses and doctors, and they're doing, you know, working to make extra money to take care of their family. They get the grants from school, and that's great. You know, I always, this thing called life, remember, if it's too easy for you, it's not worth it. If anything comes to you that is so easy that's handed right on a silver platter to you, first of all, it's, it's, it's fake ass shit. Two, it's not worth it. It's a waste of your time. You want something that's going to make you work for it. So when you're through with it, like college, you're going to be a doctor. You're going to be a nurse. It's worth it because you went through all this shit at school. You know, the test, the test day in and day out, the grinding of it, it everything. But look at the money that you're making after. Look at the, what you're helping other people. You know what? Doctors and nurses are your angels. You have to appreciate them. They are your angels. You come in with something like I go in with asthma attacks quite frequently. Um, and I feel like I'm dying. And when I come out, I always thank them because they did their best. I feel better. You know, without doctors and nurses, I don't know what the fuck we would do. So always thank an essential worker. I'm an essential worker. Okay? I'm not going to tell you what I do, but I'm there on the front line. So, um, we need all the thanks that we can get. We put ourselves out there. We put our lives out there and that's what we do. But I ask each and every one of you, no matter what psychic you're talking to, no matter what, what you're talking to, please give your respect. We need our respect. Please respect us. Abide by our wishes. We are all different. We're not the same. Each of us are going to tell you something different because we're all different. We see different. Okay? Now, a lot of it will resonate with you. You can watch 20 of us and we're basically saying the same thing. Okay, but what I do not want you to do is go from psychic to psychic to psychic. And how I know? Before I found out that who I am, I used to do that shit. And it will fuck you up mentally. Find a psychic that you trust in, whether it's me, my girlfriend, a friend that I know on, on YouTube, you know, whoever that you feel that you can trust, that's who you stay with. Stop ho-hopping. And that's what I call it. I call it ho-hopping. Just like a woman, she goes from one dick to another. One man goes from one pussy to another. A psychic is, uh, you, you are going from one psychic to another. I call you ho-hopping. Stop it. Stop it. Find you one person that really gives you the strength, the energy. You trust them. They give you the right information, the correct information. They're not trying to take all your damn money. You know, I'm cheap compared to a lot of people. Okay? Some psychics want $800 for half an hour. I'm asking for 50 because that's my time. I'm worth 50. I'm worth way more than that. Two hours, 240. You got to remember, you're keeping me on the phone for two, for two hours. And I'm giving you psychic readings from my decks, uh, from my spirit guide. That's draining. After, after two hours, I'm done for the fucking day. Okay. I love it though. I'm here to help you. An hour, 120. That's not bad either. Okay, you, if if you could pay nine ninety nine a minute, or you could pay three ninety nine a minute, six ninety nine a minute, you could afford one hundred and twenty dollars. Add that shit up, and you're going to a psychic paying three ninety nine, nine ninety nine, ten ninety nine, on these famous psychic sites.
and then you get bullshit. Like, what the fuck? I just spent $200 for some bullshit. You know? And I'm only asking for 50 or 120, two, uh, 240. Then I only say $35 for 10 cards, five cards, 25. Come on. You act like some of you act like I'm asking for the world. Did you hear that? She wants $240 for an hour. Bitch, you paying $9.99 for a minute. Come on, be realistic here. I don't ask for a whole lot. My candles, I ask, they're different prices. Why? Because I'm paying money out of my pocket to get them blessed, to put my energy in there, to have them shipped to me. So you guys don't look, be a, be, you only look at the forefront. You don't look what's going on behind. Okay? Excuse my dog blankets at the bottom, but that's my dog bed. My baby uh, sleeps there. But, um, yeah, you know, you probably see my cat down there too. But um, my point of view is, give us a break. You know, we know that you love us. Every psychic on here, we got people that love us, adore us, sends gifts. We don't think for one minute that we don't appreciate you. We appreciate appreciate you. And some of you that get a reading from us are friends for life. We still talk to you. Okay? And I will tell you my favorite people that I love. I love me some Tyler Terrell. I think everybody on this fucking earth loves Tyler Terrell. Tyler Terrell. Sorry, Tyler. I love him to death. I call myself the fev female version of him as far as cursing. He's wonderful. And I love me some Magical Witch. If you talk to Magical Witch, tell her Born with a Veil comes on her channel. And I love me some Magical Witch. That is my favorite witch of all freaking times. I support her. She's my fellow uh, witch. We're sisters. Okay? She doesn't know me personally. We've never spoken. But I admire her. I love her. Um, I appreciate her. I do. And Tyler Terrell, I appreciate him. I respect him. And I hope one day that they may watch this video. Hear me. If anybody talks to Magical Witch... I send my love to her, to the utmost respect. I back my sister, Witch, and no matter what she does. And Tyler Tara, I back him up. These two are my loves. Okay? I also have a sister, Andrea. Uh, she's on YouTube. I love her dearly. That's been my sister, oh my God, for many, many years. You know? There's people that I adore on here. But, um... As far as people that I don't know, Tyler Taro, uh, and then Magical Witch. Mwah. I I just love you both, and I love my sister Andrea. But um, I just wanted to say that because I got to get ready for work. But I'm real, I'm honest, I'm down to earth, and always trust somebody that curses. You may not like us when we cursing. Too bad. You could flip. You could just bye bye. Uh, you could get off my channel. Bye bye. This is who I am. I'm real. I'm down to earth. Okay, so if you want a real reading, come to me, not begging you, just telling you. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. Um, if you think you're going to come to me and think that I'm going to tell you um, a lie, you got the wrong one here. I'm not going to do it. I'm far from that. I'm not going to do it. What I am going to do is tell you what my cards say and what I say. If you come to me and say, is my man cheating? Well, first of all, you must have a suspicion because you're coming to me. Okay, number two, if he's cheating, I'm going to tell you. Don't think you're going to come to me and I'm not going to tell you that he's cheating. And if you're cheating, I'm going to tell you too. Everybody does what the fuck they want to do. We've all done some bullshit, okay? I'm not here to judge you. I'm only here to help you and to make you see some things about yourself, what's going on with your life, okay? But remember, this thing called life is very funny. What path are you going to take? Are you going to stand there and just stand in the days? You're standing in the middle of the road. You don't know which way to go. You don't know what which way to you don't know to go right. You don't know to go left. Or do you go straight on and ram your head into a tree? That's something that we have to work out. Um, I can lead you there because I'm also a spiritual teacher. I can lead you in that direction. Now, whether you follow it or not, that's on you. 
And I'm telling about these damn candles that I got. Let me tell you something. If you order a fucking candle from me and you do the opposite of what the fuck I tell you to do, that's your own ass. Don't come to me and tell me. I've never had nobody to come back and tell me that it didn't work because my shit works. Okay. But if you fuck up and do the wrong thing, that's like, for instance, I, I'm going to get some hot foot. Now, hot foot is the shit. Um, I'll tell you what to do with hot foot. I sprinkled hot foot in front of, on somebody's steps one time. I'll tell you what that does. That was some funny shit. I'll tell you about it later. But don't get your shit mixed up. If I tell you to do something with hot foot and I tell you to put it on somebody's porch for a reason, don't put it on your own shit because you're sabotaging your damn self. Sabotaging your damn self. Don't do that. You, if you don't know what the fuck you're doing with these spells, don't do them. I'm serious. Don't do them. You're going to sabotage yourself. And if you want me to do it, I'll do it. But you're going to pay me a price to do your shit. Don't think you're going to waltz on here and say, uh, born with a veil, I'll give you $20 to do my spell. Fuck no. No, you're not. Because I ain't going to do it for $20. Shit, I'm lighting that shit up in my house, putting that shit in my house. No, that's not going to happen with me. Okay? So I'm here to help you. I'm here to, if you need a spiritual teacher, I'm here to help you, okay? So this is Born With A Veil. I've got to go to work. I'm going to download these videos. Um, if you want a reading, 313-401-3707. God bless you. I send the angels to you, principalities and thrones and cherubs. I send St. Michael, Uriel, Gabrielle, Raphael to you. I ask that the dear God above, my heavenly father, my daddy in heaven, protects you, loves you, gives you the self-esteem that you need, that gives you the help that you need to get by. I asked Jesus, you know, Jesus was a man that walked the earth. Who you trust is God. Now, you pray to Jesus because Jesus, and remember, you got to forgive two people. There's a lot of people that don't forgive. You know, it always says in the Bible, if you want me to forgive, if you want somebody to forgive you, you know, I have to go, Jesus said, I have to go to my father to ask for forgiveness for you. But if you can't forgive anybody, don't expect for Jesus to go to his father to ask forgiveness for you. That's where a lot of people get twisted at. You got to forgive too. Okay. That doesn't mean that you have to fuck with the person, but you have to forgive too. And that's a very hard thing for us. Forgiveness. That's a very hard thing for us to do. Okay. So treat each other with respect, love one another, and bring your community back. Bring, um, you know, women, I always say stick together, sisterhood. No matter who you are, doctor, nurse, a babysitter, a psychic, a witch, you know, um, a lawyer, a, a judge, a legal secretary. It doesn't matter who you are. Women need to stick together because let me tell you something. Men stick together. Why do you think they they <clears throat> they tell their boys, hey, if my girl calls you, you know, we hung out the other day. You think men don't stick together? Shit. Women, you better learn how to stick together and bring each other up and stop putting them, stop bringing each other down because of a color. Because you're black, white, Puerto Rican, whatever the hell you are. Stop stop bringing women down. You're supposed to be boosting each other up. We're women. We're not children. And I hate to see that when women talk about each other and don't, you know, don't respect each other. I hate that shit. And that includes myself because I've done that too. We need to uplift each other as women, as children of God. We need to lift up each other. So this was just a thing called life that I thought I would share for you. Sometimes I might wake up in the middle of the night and post some shit, you know, whatever's on my mind. But this is a thing called life. You're either going to make it or you're either going to break. And I want to see everybody make it. So this is a message for me. I love you to everybody, but I got to go and I don't want to because I got to deal with some bullshit today. So anyway... I love everyone. I send love, joy, happiness, peace. And if you have a problem, like I say, I'm here. God bless.